do you feel? How do you feel? How do you feel? I do not understand the question. What is it, Spark? Namaste. Well, how do I feel? <laughs> no, you can't understand how you feel. You just know how you feel. You just feel it. Poor Spock. Logic leads to such paradoxes. Only a mother can resolve them. <laughs> so we worship the universal mother. And she provides the answers to all those illogical questions. <laughs> So, how do you feel? This time, uh, middle of October 2021, has been very difficult for a lot of people because there were five planets retrograde at the same time. Thank goodness, Pluto and now uh, Saturn and Uranus have all gone direct. And next, Mercury and Jupiter will go direct on the 18th. So by the end of the month, things should be, you know, back on track, but under a whole new set of rules and restrictions and paradigms. So uh, that's one reason why we did the whole new paradigm series. It outgrew the previous format because we were integrating our new discoveries. Actually, not so new, <laughs> but new as far as our public presence is concerned. So most of you probably will have experienced some kind of crisis in the last few weeks due to all these retrograde planets. But of course, what they're doing is simply showing up your weak spots and helping you to become stronger so that when things turn back direct, then you'll be able to make progress. In my case, <laughs> I went through a whole lower back meltdown where the lumbar vertebrae were very inflamed and it was affecting my hips and I couldn't really walk or sit very much. <clears throat> so I had to go into a whole bunch of therapy and yoga and change my diet and all kinds of stuff. So now I'm on a pure ketogenic diet. It's a very strict diet, but wow, do I feel better even after just a few days of it. And I'm losing weight, which is always good. So this is the new normal for me. I have to do yoga, hatha yoga stretches twice a day, morning and evening. I have to limit my sitting especially uh, without back support. And I have to stay on this diet. And uh, even if I'm traveling, somehow or other, <laughs> not get into foods that cause inflammation, which are just about everything I love to eat, <laughs> unfortunately. So uh, we're going into a new phase now. And I'm going to be leaving India I'm not sure exactly when. If I get my way, it'll be like 1st of January, uh, first part of January. But they may force me to leave sooner, in which case that would be a major inconvenience. I'd have to go to Sri Lanka and go into quarantine for two weeks <laughs> because I just got my first vaccine shot the other day, Friday, 
which means I have to wait literally to the end of the year to get the second shot and be fully vaccinated so I can travel. Personally, I don't need the vaccine. I had the, the first strain of COVID back in March 2020, and in February this year, I had the Delta strain. Light cases, really like a, just like a flu. So I have all the antibodies and everything, negative PCR, but I have to have the vax to travel. That's just the game we play when we're expatriates, when we live in a foreign country, that is. So what I want to talk to you about today is what I'm going to be doing going forward. I need more income. So I'm going to be selling NFTs, non-fungible tokens, for artwork and music and videos. And these have all been like processed by various means, all original, except I'm doing a series on Arunachala, which is derived from photos. But still, the NFTs will be available and I'm going to post the links and promote them heavily on this channel because you're my guys and you're my family. <laughs> so over 3,000 followers now. Nothing to sneeze at. So if you would uh, consider getting into the Solana cryptocurrency and purchasing my NFTs, that would be nice. <laughs> or you can purchase prints. And that I'll put the link to my print gallery um, in the video description below. So how do you feel? <laughs> I feel hopeful, optimistic, because I have the tools to handle the life problems that I'm dealing with. Plus, I've already solved the spiritual thing. I feel completely satisfied spiritually. And it's because of this worship of the mother. Huh? Uh, to quote Bhagavad Gita, she says in her incarnation as Krishna, I preserve what they have and carry what they lack. She's talking about her devotees. I preserve what they have and carry what they lack so one can have a complete life, an actually very spiritual life, even though living in the material world and being an ordinary person and having to go through all the embarrassments of having a material body and so on and so on. But... Um, she preserves what we have. If we have made any spiritual progress in this life or in previous lives, that remains available. And so we never lose in our worship of the mother. We never lose in our devotional service, in our meditation, in our studies, in our good works. Huh? We never lose those benefits. So that's a very strong impetus for spiritual life uh, and to remain in the good graces of the mother because, oh, if she gets pissed off at you, oh, man, <laughs> you're in trouble. <laughs> anyway, so uh, mother is always correcting her children. Huh? Sometimes she has to use strong punishments, but... It's for your own good. <laughs> this hurts me more than it hurts you. <laughs> because she is you. She is the environment. She is the body, the mind. She is even consciousness. So everything that we are is actually her. There's a wonderful prayer somewhere in the Tripura Rahasya. 
a wonderful prayer where this devotee prays, O oh Ma, when I'm eating, let it be you eating. When I'm hearing, let it be you hearing. When I'm thinking, and so on. And he goes through all his functions of his so-called body and self and mind and identifies them as actually the goddess. So actually, we do nothing. Shiva, pure awareness, is actionless. We are only the watcher only the observer, not even that, because pure awareness doesn't take an object. So this pure awareness is always unconditioned, free, huh? sat chit ananda eternal existence, consciousness, and bliss. So that we are, that I am, that is the self. And of course, we've done many, many series on Ramana Maharshi's books and like that. So you're always free and you're always enlightened. Only thinking that we aren't makes it so. So I hope you feel better now. I sure do. Aum Tatsa. Aum Shakti Aum.